Your gynecologist has recommended that you have surgery to remove fibroid tumors from your uterus. But what does that actually mean? The uterus is part of a woman's reproductive system. It's the organ that contains and protects a growing fetus during pregnancy. Fibroids are non-cancerous tumors that grow on the inner or outer wall of the uterus. They are quite common. As many as 20% of women over 30 have them. In most cases, fibroids do not cause any discomfort and are never detected. Occasionally, however, fibroid tumors can cause problems. Complications from fibroid growth can include pressure on the urinary system, pressure on the intestines, interference with the reproductive system, or infection. Because these tumors can grow to be very large, Surgery is usually recommended in order to restore health and to protect the uterus. For the treatment of fibroids, there are no real alternatives to surgery. Should you decide not to undergo surgery, it is unlikely that the discomfort you are feeling will subside on its own. There is also the risk that the fibroid or fibroids could continue to grow. If left unchecked, fibroids can permanently damage the uterus or other organs. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table and the anesthesiologist will begin to administer anesthesia, most probably general anesthesia by injection and inhalation mask. The surgeon will then apply an antiseptic solution to the skin and will place a sterile drape around the operative site. After you are asleep, a horizontal incision will be made across your lower abdomen. Your doctor will use an instrument called a retractor to pull the skin aside, exposing your abdominal muscles. The surgeon then separates the muscles by making a vertical incision. Another retractor is used to pull aside the muscles and hold them in place. The fibroid will now be visible. Using a pair of forceps, your doctor will take hold of the fibroid and pull it up and away from the wall of the uterus. Next, your doctor will cut the connection between the fibroid and the uterus. The fibroid is then removed. A series of stitches are used to close the incisions. First, the uterine wall is closed. Then the muscle retractor is removed and the abdominal muscles are sewn together. Finally, the incision in the skin is closed. And a sterile bandage is applied to the site. patients experience at least some pain following surgery, but if properly handled, it shouldn't present any serious problems. 
Pain used to be regarded as an unavoidable side effect of surgery, but today, pain can be managed with great effectiveness. And as the patient, you have an important role to play. Before surgery, be sure to ask the medical staff about the type and duration of pain normally associated with your surgery. Find out in advance about your pain management options. Work with the staff to develop a pain management plan. Discuss your options. There are alternatives to drugs that can lessen your need for pain medication. Ask your doctor for help in finding a pain management class. Many of these workshops teach helpful relaxation techniques, positive thinking, and nerve stimulation exercises. Following surgery, make sure to let your nurse know right away how you're feeling and whether or not you are in any pain. Be specific and help them to measure your discomfort. If you're having trouble expressing yourself, try to rank what you're feeling on a scale from 1 to 10. Never be shy about asking for help. If you experience pain that just won't go away, report it to the nurse. Pain is an important indicator that helps you and your medical staff understand your body's healing process. While you're in the hospital, your medical team will continue to monitor your body's immediate reaction to the procedure just performed. That means that your time in the hospital is not really for rest and recovery, and you should expect to have your movements restricted, and even your sleep interrupted by nurses and other medical staff. The amount of time you spend in the hospital will depend on your age, your health, and whether or not any complications arise. Be assured that once your doctor feels that your condition is properly stabilized, you will be allowed to leave. Be sure to follow your doctor's advice and allow the full recommended time before you return to your normal routine. Fibroid removal surgery only rarely leads to complications. Possibly serious complications following surgery are unlikely. They include infection, excessive bleeding, accidental injury to the uterus, and regrowth of the fibroid. Some patients experience a persistent residual neuralgia, or pain, around the scar. It can be either localized or general. It may develop soon after surgery, or even weeks or months later.